miles offshore on the state line in Illinois and Wisconsin. We fish in between 80 and 120 feet of water using downriggers, Nipsey divers, and planer boards again. What's a Nipsey diver? I have no idea. We're about to find out though. We're at 54 degree water temp, which is pretty good right now. 52 would be a little better, so keep trolling out deeper until we get to that water temp. Really hit that flat bank. <laughs> Well, that's perfect size for it. Woo! Heck yeah! Look at that! What was that depth of that? That was down 15 feet. 15 foot. He's a high rider. You show that video. No, I did not catch it. You have to catch the fish to do it. That's the thing. I can't believe it, Josh. You're not. You're not. You're standing for this, not biting the head off right now. After all that talk. Before 10 a.m. too. Oh, it's it's like 5 a.m. I guess the tradition is you bite the head off for good luck. Is that another one? There's a lot of lines going on here. Another coho? Oh, we got a runner. Oh, yeah, this is getting silly. Yeah, how can we help? It's a king. Woo, it's a head biter. Get him, baby. You gotta get you one of these. I, oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna walk there. Oh, we got another one hooked up. Oh. That sucker's fighting pretty good, Matt. Yeah, he, he doesn't want to give up. Look we'll at your danglers tangled. Walk back. Walk back. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, he's on the ground. Body slam him in there. These things are fighting good. <laughs> nice, Matt. King salmon! Oh, that's a small one. This is a small one. Well, that's what he said. I know it's considered that small. Dude, you got the king. You're the king of the boat now. You know, didn't bite his head off though. <laughs> you have not. I'm the king. You captain. still have to do that. I've been up in the in the crow's nest. It, it seems that uh, the big, big barks are kind of deeper. What was that caught on? A whirly bird? That was on one of the one of peanut flies. Peanut fly. I knew it. That's the next guess. What do we got? Oh, we got a king! I'm the king! Look at this thing! Oh, baby! Oh, yeah! Okay, drag set. Drag set, just real on. This one's low, like how do yeah. you... How that was probably down 60 feet. 60 feet, I knew those big boards were down there. All that work in the crow's head. Yeah! Feel the thunder! First king ever. Got 51 feet out. <laughs> I might have to give this one a nice big lick in the face. I don't know if you can stiff him, but I got some big feet. I'm just handling him. Yeah, you're holding Walk backwards, I'm lifted up, so walk back. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> we need a bigger net. Look at it. I'm right behind you. Get that net out of my way. I underjudged his size. Look at that big boy. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. That's huge. That thing's awesome. How many sandwiches can we get out of that? Yes. First king and another fish on. That's good. Right wow. Pick it up, pick that rod up. Fish on. How do you hold these suckers? Right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I like that. Why is the teeth don't go too deep? There that gill slot is slimy. First king salmon right there. Nice fish. Put up a nice bite. <laughs> That's still a part sweet as that. <laughs> That's a little too big. That's a little too big. Another king here. Josh is telling me we just gotta take it easy with this guy. Let him run when he wants to run. Let's 
drag is really loose. I'm not used to this. I have like sun. It's probably a good thing. You gotta keep it loose for a bit. Oh, oh, he just got oh no! Oh, he just got no, he did! He's running. Don't tell me that thing got off. That was huge. Did he get off? Oh. No! God, dude, that was way bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah, seriously, that was like 20 pounds. Dragon? He's not, he's not like digging like that, that king. He's not running like a king. No. A Laker. Maybe you haven't woken up yet. Oh, he's a lazy. He's a Laker. Lazy Laker. Lazy Laker. Look at him. He's just. Oh, yeah. It's a grease ball. Oh, so what's the story on these lake trout? They're just lazy. They sit down on the bottom and uh, wait for something to go by their face and they nab it. So they're basically catfish. Yeah. Oh, those are big. I want to get him jumping. Come on, man. There, the same line though, it's tangled in itself somehow. This requires patience. Let me hand this guy. Only handle him. You want to bite or something? It's so soft. This might be the old kinger. The old kinger dinger? It's a steely. That's a big steely. Wow! Woo! Mm. Taste the cakes. Get it going. 400 feet out. It's a ways to real efficient, huh? It was. Uh, 200 yards of braid, then 200 feet of copper, then 30 yards of lead, and then 15 yards of fluorocarbon. That is silly. We got on. Oh, we got a big Laker baby. I've never caught one of these. I've never caught anything that's coming in the boat today. So. This is PB. And we got a flare title coming at you right now. It feels really heavy. It feels like a, a big catfish. There's no head shakes. It kind of feels like slug. It was 140 feet down. Okay. At the bottom. 140 feet down. That's officially the deepest freshwater fish I've ever caught. Do we have out? About 17, I think, right now. Seven, 17. Come on, Lakey. Look at this form. Okay, I'm going to walk it back. Drop the beef. This is a this is a key thing you got to do here on the famic reefs. Come over here to this beef beef stack. Look at that. Yeezys, Yeezys on the salmon boat. Like put her on the leg. Oh, this is way need like a. Uh, this uh, is the way to do it, boys. Need to be strapped in. <laughs> Strap it in. Strap it with a belt. Probably a coho. It's either a coho or a small lake trout. It was a foul hook lake trout. Oh, oh, booger. He's foul hook. He's hooked in the back. How'd he get, how'd he do that? Oh! Oh, oh man! Well, that's a good thing. It's good effort. Good effort. Sandwich time! I think we got a coho. Oh, yeah. Nice. Another no, Laker. Yes! <laughs> Another Laker. I want to put that in my salad, maybe. Smoke it for a week or two. Put some black peppercorns on it. A little bit of hot sauce. Apparently they don't taste good. Okay. I'm hoping this isn't another lake trout. But it might be a king. It's coming up, so I think it, it is going to be a king. I could be completely wrong. I think it's a lake trout now. It's going to be a lake trout. The old sludge wagon. Trying to dangle it off. Oh, that's, a, that's, a big... no, that's not even close to like one. We are in a lull right now. We need something to pick us up. 
So uh, Dylan is is gonna. He's the first mate on this on the ship, on the Bam Breeze. He's gonna do a little something to uh, to help us out. It's tradition. Let's do a lot. What do you call this technique? Pull rinse off. Let's, uh, let's get you in the light, because I want to make sure we know how to do this for future endeavors. What in the... What? What in the... No! What the... <laughs> there was a technique there. You see that twist? What? I just what? That. what just happened? Alright, we'll catch some fish now. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! It's a bigger though. What? I don't know. God, what a savage. Anything to catch fish. Anything to catch fish. Put that on a t shirt. You little chaser? <laughs> no chaser. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how big these things get, but this is huge. Like the, the belly, I can see it from a hundred yards out there. That's a hammer. Look at that hammer! That's massive! Look how fat that is! Goodness! That is Bertha. That's the, that thing is cold. 160 feet of water. That's the biggest yeah, fish I've caught all year. That's the that's Wow. <laughs> that's a hand. Oh, it did. <laughs> There's a lot of splash. Oh, it's Lake Trout. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh man. Oh, man. Here we go. That's a key. No, Lake Trout. Anybody want to reel this guy in, Drew? I'm at with jealousy in my stance. There you go. There we go. Drew to the rescue. Oh, yeah, they are catching sea monsters. Is that Aspen? They went to a bowling Can you be like the guy at the grocery store and ask 
ask him like This is it. I'm your fish man right now. Like, okay. yeah. Can I get down to that game safe? Exactly. First thing you gotta do, put your food saver game bag in uh, in the unit here. Close it, switch it to operate, and then you just want to seal. What that does, it just does a like a heat, a heat shrink right there. That's what seals one side. What wow, man? I cut that one. That's the longest one I've ever cut. This is a huge piece. Make sure you totally put the end in there. You have enough room. You want to leave like a few inches, probably three or four inches. Close that. Switch to operate, then back and seal. It's just gonna suck all the air right out and seal it at the same time. A few seconds. Turns off. Open her up. This one does 40 consecutive sealings. Another one ready for the freezer. If y'all want to pick one of these up, this is the one I use, the Food Saver Outdoorsman. 17% off right now on Amazon. Visit the link down below, it'll take you right to it, and you can save that extra money for this month of June. Alrighty, y'all, all this meat now is going to go to the deep freezer. Keep a couple out. Just cook here, but this is the biggest meat haul I have ever experienced.